Okay, welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea after the recent video I did on this this axle failure situation. Uh, I think it'd be prudent if I um, actually check the axle that I've got in this car, which I initially bought for the budget car challenge. Um, so I've I've had a, I've, I've sort of put all the cart back together, but I didn't really take the time to look at the axle, check for any sort of um, indications that it, it could be on its way out. Um, and then I can, you know, we can uh, have a look together, see what we can find, and maybe see if we should replace it or not. Um, I don't think we should be in this scenario where people are looking at their axles uh, in because we're we're fearful they may fail. Because at the end of the day, if they do fail and it hits someone on the head, the uh, consequences are catastrophic. So, but anyway, it seemed like the smart thing to do. Um, we can have a look at it together, see what we can find, and. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's crack on. Let's get this axle out and uh, take a look. Okay, the axle's out. Uh, first glance, uh, not fantastic. Let's take a, let's take a closer look. Okay, if you can see that, basically what we can see is a lot of scoring from the grub screws and here it's been moved quite a lot, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't see any sort of like telltale sort of kind of scoring, there's a little bit like that goes round which sometimes is a bit of a, hopefully this is in focus, it's, it's a bit close. Um, so yeah, I mean it's hard to know what to look for. There's no so obvious fatigue. Um this is this is a C Max axle, whatever brand that is. Um so yeah, it's it's not fantastic. Um I've seen worse. So maybe I don't know. Is it time for a, a new axle? I don't know. It seems kind of ridiculous to be looking at what should be a perfectly reasonable axle um, and thinking we might have to get a new one but uh, let's head back into the garage and have a think yeah so I mean it, I know some of the some of the I think Tom Longfield he says he's changing his axle every three or four meetings um, and I've never heard of people changing axles that much uh, apart from at the top end which I guess he's racing in um, so yeah, it's, it's a tricky one. Um, having seen the axle failures, um, I'll, I'll probably I'll put this one back in. It'll be okay just to do like a a day with the with the car. I think it it, it does look okay, um, but I think yeah, I'll be fitting a new one in. Um, I haven't seen any issues with this brand of axle um, so far. But um, yeah, yeah. I think I'll be maybe I'll be getting a forty mil, converting it to a forty mil. They've got thicker, thicker walls, so um, and that's by regulation. Um, so I might go that route anyway. I'm just seeing these videos, and like I said, I am not the most health and safety driven person with regards to motorsport. Um, but everything in, with with danger. When it's with regard to motorsport, and me, it, it comes down to whether it's a personal choice or whether you're inviting others to take a risk that they otherwise wouldn't wouldn't take. And this snapping, and I mean, you know, with a wheel and, and sprocket attached, that hits someone; they're going to die pretty much, uh, or, or have severe injury. So it looks okay. There's no there's no big fatigue mark. So you can see, yeah, that looks like it's been over tightened a little bit and it's pinched it. So, yeah, I might be getting a newer axle sooner than I think. Uh, it'll be okay. I don't know. I've seen these videos. Yeah, that's, you see, look, there's a, there's a, it's indented there. So it's probably been over tightened by me, probably. So looking at that again, yeah, maybe it's time for an axle. I never thought I'd be in this position where, you know, I'm looking at axle fatigue and thinking, oh, God. I don't think we should. I don't think an axle failure, 
Like if you're going to life components, the component when it fails shouldn't become a lethal object. If you if you understand what I'm saying, so that that's where my my head's at. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I probably I, after seeing these videos, I think the responsible thing. I've changed my mind. I'm going to probably get a new axle. And um, because at some point this cart's going to be moved on, and uh, yeah, I think it's the responsible thing to do. It would be good if the, the, the people manufacturing these axles and those people who are governing bodies would take responsible action too. Um, I think I think I think I've seen a few people saying you know they're going to check their axles more often, but at the end of the day, this is a solution that shouldn't be levied on the personal competence of those who own who own these carts and race them because at the end of the day I think that's asking too much I think this solution come can, can be a lot easier um, so yeah that's a bit of a curveball um, but anyway thanks for watching I hope this inspires you to check your axle I don't think this is on its way out in terms of gonna fail immediately but having seen what I've seen recently uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth taking any risks. I'll have a look, see if I can get a 40 mil in there. Um, if not, I'll just, I'll just get a, a, uh, a one, a brand that doesn't seem to be having the same amount of failures or any failures, ideally. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Check your axles, and let's hope that no one gets hit in the head with one of these errant objects. Thanks for watching. <laughs>